This video is part of the course that is batch processing with Spring Batch and Spring Boot. Link for the course is given in the description. Before jumping to Spring Batch, let's first understand what is batch processing. In other words, you can say it as bulk processing as well. So when you have large amount of data and that you want to process at the one time, that is called as batch processing or bulk processing. Real world example of batch processing is banking field. Let's understand this with one example. Say there are two friends. One is Sachin and another one is John. Sachin is using A bank and John is using B bank. So here Sachin wants to transfer some money to John. Now while using the net banking we know right not all transactions are real time. I know if you are from India then you might be using IMPS or UPI for the real time transaction okay. But there is some certain limit for those kind of real time transaction. If you want to do transaction of high amount right then those transactions are not real time. Doesn't matter from which country you are the same thing you are having while using the net banking. So what happens your bank right will not do the real time transaction say for example Sachin is transferring some amount to John okay. So not immediately bank will deduct the money from Sachin's account and credit to John's account. That will not happen always on the real time basis okay. So here what will happen is a bank can collect this kind of transactions in the database and later it can process. So what will happen? There are other transactions might be possible coming right because a bank can have lot of customers. Say for example Martin is there okay. Say Martin wants to transfer the money to his friend Mona and Mona is using C bank right. So this kind of many transactions are coming to a bank because a bank can have many customers right just like Sachin and Martin. So what a bank can do is it can collect say for example last four hour transactions and then process them in one shot. Say for example Sachin wants to transfer the money to John at 12.30 pm ok. So what a bank can do is let's not do it the real time transaction ok. Store into the database and then run the job at 4 pm and whatever transactions came right for the a bank during the last four hours that means 12 pm to 4 pm perform them in one shot. So this is batch processing or you can say bulk processing. Again what will happen? Some customers wants to transfer the money right between the 4 pm to 8 pm. Bank will not do that on the real time basis but it will store in the database in the pending state and again at the 8 pm it will run a batch job and it will perform whatever transactions came during the last 4 hours that means 4 pm to 8 pm. So this is real world example of batch processing with banking field. Now let's jump to other examples. So another example is e-commerce or retail store right. We know on the e-commerce store we can sell our items as well right. Not just buyers are there sellers are also there who are putting their inventory right for the sale then only the buyers can buy the items. Now say for example there is one seller okay who is having large store on the e-commerce portal having thousands of items for sale on e-commerce portal. Now that seller got new stock of items. So just imagine thousands of items and for each item there are quantities like 5, 10 or maybe 100 quantities. Now if that seller does these things right updating the quantity manually on the e-commerce portal then it will take lot of time and it is not practical even. So here what will happen e-commerce portal can provide one CSV format say for example okay that the seller needs to fill in the same format. The seller puts the item name the quantity that he wants to add on the e-commerce portal whatever inventory he got okay. I am not going into the real implementation of this. So seller can put these details and upload to the e-commerce portal. Now during the day time okay e-commerce portal servers are utilized to serve the users basically the buyers right doing the transaction and all things. So at that time e-commerce portal cannot utilize the resources for this CSV files. So what e-commerce portal can do is when seller uploads the file right say for example CSV file it stores on their server. So there are many sellers worldwide for this e-commerce portal right. So what it can do at night it can run a bad job 
and whatever csv files came right during the day time or whenever from different sellers from the different countries of the world it can process in one shot so read the csv and put into the database so by that the database basically the e-commerce portal got the latest quantity of the items and then it will reflect on the e-commerce portal for the users to buy those items so when you have large amount of data and you don't want to utilize the resources during the day time and you want to perform tasks during the night time then you can go for batch processing just like i said example of banking or e-commerce but i'm not saying that they are doing the same thing like they are using spring batch or they are using batch processing but i'm just taking this example so that you can relate this with batch processing so in e-commerce as per our example what i said read from the csv and put into the database so that is one example of batch processing another one as i said is the banking example if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends do you want to learn spring batch if yes then i am having complete course on it in this course you will learn spring batch in detail you will learn what is job and step provided by spring batch in this course you will learn tasklet step and chunk oriented step in detail you will learn item reader item processor and item writer with example in this course you will learn how to launch a job using rest api and how to schedule a job using spring scheduler there are different item readers provided by spring batch in this course you will learn flat file item reader json item reader xml item reader jdbc item reader and many more just like item reader spring batch provides different item writers in this course you will learn flat file item writer json item writer xml item writer jdbc item writer and many more fault tolerance is very important while working with spring batch and that's what this course covers in this course you will learn how to skip the bad records and how to capture the bad records while reading processing and writing the data you will also learn retry mechanism provided by spring batch this course covers real time use case that is database migration in this course you will learn how to migrate from postgres to mysql database using spring batch and for this purpose we will use jpi item reader and jpi item writer So what are you waiting for link for the course is given in the description just click on that and start learning spring batch with spring boot so that's all for now and we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and happy coding